Hello everyone, I trust this week has been productive for you. Did you know that the 21st of April of every year is designated by the United Nations as World Creativity and Innovation Day? The objective is to raise awareness of the role of creativity and innovation in all aspects of human development. Do you also know that with God, you and I have unlimited potentials for innovation and creativity? In Exodus 35 verse 35, the Bible says specifically about artistic creativity that God gives us skill to do all kinds of work. You have what it takes to express the creativity God has given to you. And so I ask you, what innovative or creative ideas are you pregnant with? Start working on it today. Barack Obama once said, the best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things happen, you will fill the world with hope. You will fill yourself with hope. And on that note, I welcome you to this episode of Practical Reflections, a podcast series powered by the Logos Aflame Ministries. My name is Ella Ekins, your host on today's podcast. And as always, I bring special greetings from the senior pastor and founder of the Logos Aflame Ministries, Pastor Grace Obi Johnson. Welcome back. Just to remind everyone that the Lamb Daily Devotional for April to June is still available. You can get yours on Amazon, Okada Books and Bam Books or please reach out to us via the email address on your screen to place your order. And of course, don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you have not done so to join our community of people who love the scriptures and are striving to achieve greatness through God's word. Special shout out to Ad Addition of Funke. Thank you for your comments on provision. It was great to hear from you. To our discussion for the day. Last week, one of the topics we looked at was the subject of courage in leadership. And we saw God in Joshua chapter 1 verse 6, encouraging Joshua to be strong and courageous. We also defined courage as showing strength in the face of difficulty or challenge. Were you able to put the principles we learned into practice? Today we are reviewing our Bible readings from the 14th of April to the 21st of April. In the Old Testament we read Joshua 9 to Joshua 23 and in our readings we see Joshua and the children of Israel defeating the Amorite kings amongst a number of other victories in the Bible. We read the miracle of the sun standing still over Gibeon. We also read about the allotments of land to the various tribes as they settled in the promised land and as God gave them rest from war. In Joshua 23, we read that the years had passed and Joshua was very old and in his final words to the children of Israel, it said in Joshua 23 verse 6, Be very strong, be careful to obey all that is written in the book of the law of Moses without turning aside to the right or to the left. God is still saying these very words to you and I today. In the New Testament, we read Luke chapter 16 to Luke chapter 20. In our readings, we see a number of parables, like the parable of the rich man and Lazarus. We see the parable of the persistent widow, which teaches us not to give up on prayer. We also read about the parable of the evil farmers and the parable of the ten servants, which teaches us to invest the talents and gifts we have. This is even more important on a day like this, when we are celebrating innovation and creativity. Still on our text, we see Jesus healing the blind beggar who kept shouting out to Jesus even when others told him to keep quiet. And we read about Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. In our readings, Jesus also taught about forgiveness and I would like to read Luke 17 verses 3 and 4. Jesus said, Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespasses against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespasses against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Each of us at some point in our lives have been wronged by someone, but being able to forgive can have a great positive impact on our health both mental and physical. Studies have found that the act of forgiveness can lower the risk of heart disease and reduce levels of anxiety, depression and stress. Has anyone offended you and you are yet to forgive? Do so today. Colossians 3.13 says, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive 
as the Lord forgave you. Well, that's it for this edition. Please remember to keep reading your Bible on a daily basis. Also, we would love to hear from you. Please put in the comment section below any of the Bible readings or devotional text that has blessed you or your various experiences when putting God's word into practice. Till next week, keep creating love and passion for God's word. God bless you.